Yo, so guys, and here back with another editing tutorial video. I haven't posted in a while, and that's because I'm all over the place with what I want to do with this channel. But I think I'm now set in stone with what I want to do. I'm gonna continue making editing tutorials. I'm gonna be consistent. I know I always say that, but this time I will be consistent. In this video, okay. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a camera shutter. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. That's how it looks like. So you know, you get the gist of it. I don't really know what to call it, like uh, footage shutter, echo effect. Enough of that. Subscribe for more tutorials. I did change my name from Spirit to Antonio because that's how what I brand myself in Turner NYC. Follow my Instagram down below. Join the controlled Discord. And yeah, let's hop right into this tutorial. So first things first, you do want to have a new comp. My comp is 1920 by 1080, 24 frames. So I am going to drag a clip. So in the preview I showed you is what I did in a new video that's unreleased. It's March 26th. I don't know when the video is coming out, but it's an uh, NYC drill video with FNS Philly, Tata, and Beretta. It's dropping soon. I'm just going to bring that footage. So basically, I'm just going to go find the part. So here's the part. I'm going to cut it here. So as you see, the beat where it's like right here, I'm going to cut it. And then the beat where I would put the, the muzzle flash, the shot, I'd cut it again. So this will be the impact, and this will be the clip that we'll be messing with today. So when you have the clip cut, what you want to do is, is double hit L on your keyboard. So it'll open up the waveform. Now what we want to do is on this beat, we're going to stop it around here. So this is going to be where he pulls out the gun, and then on this marker is where he would shoot. So for this clip right here, this will be the part where... It'll do the speed up and the flicker of frames. So now what we want to do is click this um, layer, right click, time, enable time map. Over here, you can add and remove keyframes. We're going to add a keyframe at the start and add a keyframe at the end. Now we're going to go a couple keyframes behind the last keyframe and just put it up to about 20 more seconds. So when you view this, it's just very sped up. So it's, now it's sped up. Now what we want to do is add an adjustment layer above it. Okay, so you're, you're going to need to have Sapphire plugins for this. What you're going to want to use is when once you're on this adjustment layer, you're going to search S underscore random edit. And now this will pop up. You want to apply it to this adjustment layer. So what S random edits is going to do is shutter through the frames a lot faster, not faster, slower, excuse me. So now that we have the random edits, it's gonna, we're going to leave it as the default settings. What we want to do is right click and create another adjustment layer above this one. Cut them. So now we have our second adjustment layer. Now we want to apply echo and try tone. Now for our echo settings, follow me. You can use whatever ones you want, but these are the ones that I prefer and I use. Negative 0.043, enter the number of echoes from 1 to 4, and the decay from 1.0 to 1.8. Now, our tritone, we leave it like that. We can add some brightness and contrast to make the um, black and white a lot more like prominent. So we do that. Yep, looks a little better. Now, also for the random edits, we are going to change the seed to about eh, 0.19. This is what it will look like. So as you see, it just shutters through all the frames and with the echo, it has this little like ghost effect, which is really cool. And if it's too bright for you, you can always, um, with the brightness and contrast, you can always turn it down and it will turn down the brightness. Now we're going to add a one frame solid right when the clip starts and then copy, paste this to the next clip. Now for this clip, we're going to disable this just for right now so we can see the first frame. We want to right click and enable timer map on this clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this frame right here click that go frame behind and we're gonna go back a little bit to before he pulls out the pistol which will be right here now we'll put this in the first clip and this frame at the end now we're gonna go over it right click keyframe assistant and easy these two keyframes once you hit the graph editor you're going to see these two little marks right here with the little graph don't get confused it's very easy just follow my steps now with this what you want to do is raise this yellow thing up here and the one on the right side to the left a little bit down this is what it should look like and now let's take a look at what that looks like oh my bad i forgot to say enable frame blending on the side double click this box and you'll get frame blending basically what this is, is when you're time wrapping any clip your clip will not be choppy and will be a lot smoother so that is a little too fast so what I'm going to do is slow it down by taking, by, um, you know, bringing this down a little bit and maybe moving this to the side. So this, I like the way this looks. Yep, I like that. This is how the graph came out to be. 
now we're going to add our impact now your impact could be whatever you want to add so what you want to do is just put the adjustment layer here now for this tutorial i'm not going to use mine actually i'm going to create a shake that we all can use for this for you know for the sake of the tutorial if you do like the shake you can copy the settings what we're going to do is i'm going to turn the amplitude about 2.5 and the frequency to about 15 enable motion blur and also remember to always add motion tile to your clip just raise it up to whatever so you know you don't get the the black edges around your clip now we're gonna mess with the y shake and the x shake now i'm gonna turn this down probably to like 50 and the wave amp to 25 the y shake to about 115 and the y wave amp to about 50. so now let's animate this and see how the shake looks remember to easy ease so we're gonna go to the graph editor and make it fade. Now we're gonna add an exposure, enable that. Just follow along, I'm not gonna really like tell you how to do this, just follow along and copy if you will. Now I'm adding a transform, it's um, completely up to you if you wanna add this, but for the impact purposes, I will be adding it. Now lastly, hit this motion blur little option right there to enable it, yeah, let's see what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, it doesn't look like mine. I don't want you guys, you know, editing like me, like, you know, word for word, bar for bar. But you know, for the sake of tutorial, that impact is good. Now we're going to add a muzzle flash, some other things to complete the edit. Um, This muzzle flash will be in the link down, like will be in the description if you guys want to, you know, use it for yourself. It's pretty mid in my opinion. You can find better ones if you just do some research. It's just some, it's something slight, you know, you shot, you got the smoke. What more can you ask for? What I'm going to do is right click, blending mode, change it to screen the black will remove and i'll just put it to wherever the gun subject is now we're gonna put it about one keyframe before it you know flickers to the next clip so you can get the b drop right there so see it goes off and yeah so you're able to see you know the gunshot before the b hits now we can add a, a gun sound effect i'm going to add one you can just search up for any gunshot on youtube just look it up on youtube you can find a bunch i'm not going to be supplying this because this is from a pack so you know but yeah, let me just turn it down so it isn't too loud. Now, last, I'm gonna add some vignette with some flicker to make it more, you know, impactful, more uh, cinematic, in my opinion. So yeah, let's do that real quick for the final touches. Now we're gonna go where it starts to uh, frame shutter, add some vignette, make an angle view keyframe, change it to zero, go towards the middle, you know, bump it up to where you see it a lot. And now you wanna easy ease it, go towards the end of it and put it back to zero. And now we want to go into the white solid, click this, click the keyframe and enter the graph editor. Now what we're going to do is make it where the vignette will fade out when the clip hits. Now here is kind of like, kind of can just leave it, let it fade like it normally does. And we're going to add some flicker. Flicker is very easy to make. So. And that's how you make that little camera frame shutter effect. It's very useful, very cool. You can use it for like several amount of scenarios now that you know how to do this feel free to you know let your creative mind flow add this in your music videos and i'd you know i'd love to see it in some of your guys' videos so hopefully i helped you so hopefully you learned something new so yeah everything will be down below for you guys to grab let me know what tutorial you want to see next